my name is Mike Rudd. I work for the UK Space Agency and I'm the Head of Telecommunications Strategy, which is responsible for all aspects of telecommunications in space. There are 40, over 41,000 uh, people working in, in the space industry in the UK. We've got an ambition to capture uh, 40 billion of the uh, global market by 2030. And it's also strategically important. Uh, the uh, general public and quite a lot of government don't necessarily realise just how much um, their activities are dependent on space. And GP, uh, GPS is obviously the, the one that's most in people's minds. But transport, agriculture, um, medicine, uh, telecommunications all take um, elements uh, from space. The UK space industry is, is good over, I would suggest, three key areas. So we've got a very, very good science and academic background, so we exploit that in terms of space, uh, space science. So it's best known for science and exploration, but we're really good at telecommunications, we're really good at applications, and uh, the UK provide, has provided something in the region of 40% of the CubeSats that are currently in orbit. Well, I think there are challenges, uh, certainly in, in the field that I'm responsible for in terms of telecommunications. Um, 5G is coming and the fourth industrial revolution, whether we like it or not. And um, space has traditionally been uh, a bit of a niche industry. And we're moving from a, uh, an area where, where telecommunications need to be where people are to telecommunications where people are not. And space lends itself to that, but it absolutely has to be part of the integrated overall end-to-end -end connectivity chain, uh, whereas at the moment it's just currently used um, to backhaul services. If you're looking at 5G, there are a number of, uh, there are a number of par parameters that need to be set. It's not just about um, making sure that um, the latency is low and you can move massive amounts of data around. If you look at a, a sub-aspect of that in terms of the Internet of Things, you send in uh, small packets of data fairly infrequently. So I think one of the challenges is making sure that the data gets from, or the information gets from one end to the other, and worry less about which infrastructure needs to be do that and to, to, to do that in the, in the foreground. So there's a number of things that, are, that we're working on at the moment. One is the support and development of 5G infrastructure from space and to space. Um, we're part of the uh, mission to Mars, and the UK is seeking to um, develop the Mars rover that will that will land on Mars and do the uh, and, and take all the samples. Um, we're also looking at uh, launch, so we have a number of spaceports under development in the UK, both for horizontal and vertical launch, and we've just given out some um, some grants to look at the uh, vertical spaceport in in Sutherland. We want to be good stewards of space, so as part of that, we're looking at active debris removal. We're looking at space situational tracking. And we're also looking at how space weather can impact what's going on in Earth. The key target is the, is the growth in, 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 in global market share. So we want to hit that um, 40, uh, 40 billion by 2030. We want to be seen as an exemplar country for space. So the licensing regime, the way that we use uh, space situational tracking and active debris removal. Um, we want to be seen as the gold standard uh, for responsible stewardship of space. So we want to be seen, or want to continue to be seen, as a leading nation for space science, exemplified by the mission to Mars. Well, the thing that keeps me awake at night is the excitement that we've got. So the technology is changing in telecommunications, the landscape and, and the environment that, that telecommunications is sat in is changing as well. We're absolutely on the cusp of the fourth industrial revolution, and the the benefits that we can get from that have to be enabled by the connectivity and the applications for, for every user.